welcome back to Part Time Adventures. My name is Jesse. So we are here today to check out all of the construction going on going on around the Disneyland Resort. So make sure you guys subs like and subscribe, and stay tuned to see everything that's going on around Disneyland in relation to construction. So we're on the Mark Twain right now. Our first point of interest will be Pelican's Landing, which is no longer really under construction, but is now open. Well, we're going to take a look at what it looks like from the Mark Twain. New Orleans is rich in history. We're also going to be heading over there to eat our lunch in just a little bit, so we'll get a good view of it from over there as well. One of those stories involves the old We're going to be checking out New Orleans Square, Tarzan, Nemo, and Toontown to see what else is going on. For construction around Disneyland. One more to make it even if you're brave enough, you should see for yourself. Right, so here is the back newly opened Pelican's Landing. landing. It looks way different than it did last time we were here, that's for sure. We're now passing well, we got a mobile home. order. This is home. Uh, Harbor Gallery. So we will be grabbing the first some lunch and a spot over here in just a minute. One thing to notice though is that the Columbia has finished its refurbishment and is now out of dry dock. As you can see, the dock is empty. Alright, so that was Pelican's Landing. We'll take a look at everything else that's the going on around Disneyland. Alright, so we're going to take a look now at Pelican's Landing from the ground. Again, not construction, but something new. Look at the pelicans. Yeah, pretty nice. Lots of tables, places to sit. Treehouse doesn't look like there's a lot of movement or activity. Everything still cylinder scrim and behind walls.
All right, so not exactly a construction update again, as this is already open. But we did go on it for the first time right now since it has been open. I just wanted to point out that they did add like a water feature on the second lift hill that sprays you with water and gets you wet, which I thought was kind of weird. And now I'm noticing, I don't think this campsite has always been here either. So I wonder what other new things we missed. Checking out the construction from Toontown. Not a lot we can see from here on the ground other than the walls are still up for the path. But we're gonna go inside Toontown and check out what's going on in there. All right, so we are here in Toontown trying to uh, pick our way through the new concept art that was released for Toontown and we're trying to figure out where everything's going to be. But everything over here looked like it was kind of gone. And there was, yeah, a lot of green and a lot of trees right here. And this Roger Rabbit fountain right here was also gone. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Checking in on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway construction. It doesn't look like there's been a lot of progress. It's more steel up around the building. Hopefully they get those hills up soon. But yeah, Toontown will be closing in March for a straight year. while they do the construction and refresh for Toontown. So all this will be gone. This will be Centennial Park. I believe the Jolly Holiday Station will be gone. Oh, Jolly Trolley. And probably the tracks too. And there's gonna be a new water feature fountain over here to play in. Are they getting ready for distance? Yep, that's gonna all be Centennial Park. So the one with the roots, right? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, are they getting rid of Goofy's Park I too? think I saw Goofy's house in the concept art. Okay, what about Goofy's Park in the house? Like, no. I think all that's going to be... Well, I don't know. That's part of his house, so maybe not. And I don't recall seeing, like, Goofy's gas station. That's my favorite restroom to go to. That's the only restroom in Toontown. Where are they going to have a restroom at? Maybe there was something else there, but I don't remember seeing the gas station. Maybe they have a restroom here. And then this fountain right here too will be gone in front of Mickey's house. So I'm pretty excited though for the refresh of Toontown. Kind of a bummer that's going to be closed for a year, but at the same time, good that they're taking the time it needs to do the land right. Yeah, taking a good look at Toontown. It won't be too much longer, and this will all be different. Alright, so we're going to end our construction update looking at the former construction site of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We used to come right to this spot a lot during the building to watch it. So I figured this was a fitting spot to end tonight's construction update. So thank you guys for watching and checking out the construction at Disneyland with us.